that is the suspension of uh, immediate reactions to Sanjo's milieu. A dwelling creates a separation from the milieu. In Levinas' view, it is a separation from the elements of Sanjo's existence, from the unquestionable abeyron, as he says. Levinas states that the dwelling means stepping back from anonymity of the elements, the anonymity, I quote, uh, of the earth, the air, the light, the sea, the forest, and the road. A dwelling breaks with the ecstatic and immediate enjoyment of the elements. But Levinas also states that such an enjoyment is without security and inverts into care because it is always drawn to uncertain abysses of the elements. In Lavinas view, a dwelling but uh, puts an end to vegetative communications with the elements that may be enjoyable or unsafe or both. Uh, nevertheless, a dwelling remains open to these elements. It enables the ambiguity of distance to these elements, both removal and connection. The function of a dwelling consists in, in the breaking of the plenum of elements, in opening the land of refuge, as Levinas says, uh, which in which the subject uh, recollects, uh, recollects itself in a dwelling at home with itself. But the recollection of, uh, but, but the recollected I, that is a subject constituted and separation from the elements, is able to draw things from the elements and to discover and to contemplate, as uh, Levinas emphasizes, to contemplate the world of objects. The contemplation of the world of objects by the subject thus presupposes the event of, of the dwelling, the event of the withdrawal from the elements and recollection in the intimacy of home. Such an intimacy is concretely accomplished by the dwelling. In other words, it's uh, realized as a house. At a distance to the elements and the contemplation of the world of objects begins, Levinas says, positively. It begins with intimate familiarity. But uh, Levinas emphasizes uh, that such familiarity is produced as a gentleness of the other. Home is intimacy, but it is always intimacy with someone. The, relation, the relationship with uh, the other is the condition of both the recollection of uh, the subject and the existence of home. Levinas argues that home as a land of refuge uh, primarily presents hospitality and welcome given by the other. The other who welcomes in intimacy is the zoo of familiarity. But the relation of uh, the I to that zoo is the relation to feminine authority woman. The other who delightfully welcomes is a woman, the source of gentlessness itself, as Levinas said. According to Levinas, the interpersonal relationship, the relationship to the zoo, does enable us the very existence of home because the hospitality of being made welcome is the condition of the intimacy of home and consequently of the inhabitation of a dwelling by uh, the constituted subject. Uh, to conclude, uh, it's evident that uh, Patochkas and Levinas approaches uh, to the problem of home and the dwelling are, are 
coming from different perspectives. Patechka develops his considerations on the essence of the dwelling in the context of his conception of space. Levinas reflects on the importance of the dwelling in the course of his considerations on its uh, relation to the otherness of femininity. But uh, it's also obvious that these simplest conceptions uh, of the function of the dwelling and home are analogous in several respects. Uh, despite the differences of uh, their concepts of an interpersonal relationship, both authors emphasize the importance of this relationship in the constitution of home. Home is primarily addressing and welcoming of another person. It is constituted in the intimacy or interweaving with another person. Both Patochka and Levinas even assume that only in the addressing and welcoming at home does the individual existence of the subject emerge. Despite the differences of their conceptions of uh, the nature of the sensuous world, both these authors argue that the creation of home establishes uh, the distance to the unsafe milieu of the sensuous world. Both these authors also suppose that the construction of a house is the response to the original need for an indirect relationship with such a world. The construction of a house presents the definitive break with the immersion in the unsafe milieu of the sensuous world and assures the emergence of reflection or contemplation of such a world. In the unsafe, uh, unsafe outside of the sensuous world, a dwelling presents the secure insight from which it's possible to conceive the world as a partially respectable structure. It's hard to deny that uh, Patochka's and Levinas' approaches to uh, the themes of home and the dwelling are coming from different perspectives and in a different context. But I have endeavored to highlight some of their insights, uh, that some of their insights are highly similar and that these insights lead to consider considerably coherent picture of the essence of home and the function of the body.